everyone, welcome to the Miria Vahala Art Studio. My name is Miria. Uh, today I want to talk about using glazing methods in painting. I use acrylic paints and uh, so what I'm going to show you is all done in acrylics. And in my sketchbook, what I did, I thought I would just take a triad of colors, uh, a yellow, red and a blue, and show you what happens when you paint over uh, a glaze over top of an opaque layer. So uh, on here and uh, um, in my sketchbook, I do this kind of thing all the time. I, I'm always glazing and trying out um, different kinds of colors in my sketchbook, uh, what looks uh, best uh, underneath and on top and a variation of different hues. So here um, I've decided to use a very simple triad of uh, nickel azel yellow, ultramarine blue and quinacridone red. And what I did is I, I took a couple of tints of each of those three colors uh, laid it down and then glazed um, uh, uh, colors over top in transparents. The great thing about using um, transparent layers of color to mix color rather than to mix your green for instance on your on your palette and put it on your painting is when you take perhaps a, a tinted blue and glaze yellow over top you're creating almost like layers of stained glass which cre creates some very intriguing color and glowing color and uh, very very beautiful effects. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this little video, and if you do, please hit the like button, and feel free to subscribe if you want to. So take care, and uh, hope you have a great day. In this instance, I chose these three particular colors. I could have chosen other colors as well, but let's give these a try. This is quinacridone red mixed with white, and I've done two sets so that I could try a few colors. Here's the ultramarine blue mixed with white as well, and I'm using titanium white. And the third uh, layer is going to be painted on top of this nickel azel yellow. For the glazing that I'll place on top, I'll use these same three colors. It's important to make sure that the color underneath is dry before you put these layers of color on top, otherwise they're going to smear. Notice how, for instance, the green looks different when the blue is placed on top of the yellow as opposed to when the yellow is placed on top of the blue. By glazing the yellow, the red and the blue on top of the tints of yellow, red and blue, we're able to gain every color that's on the outside of the color wheel. We have the primaries of yellow, red and blue, we have our secondaries of orange, green and violets, and then we have all the tertiary colors as well. Notice how bright and clean these glazes of colors look. To the paint I've added a mixture of one-third glazing medium with two-thirds GAC 500 which is a version of acrylic polymer medium and I always use the gloss version. Acrylic glazing medium is a retarder and as with all retarders we want to be careful not to use too much. So that is why I mix one-third of it into two-thirds of the acrylic polymer medium. On the side of the sketchbook I've put tints of the three colors that I've used and I'll write down the colors I've used as well just so that I remember what I did underneath. When doing a painting we want to be able to make some great uh, grays to go along with those bright colors that we've just mixed on the previous pages. So by taking all three of those colors and mixing them together we can create some really great grays and blacks. So here I've taken yellow and blue and made a green, added its complement of red and that makes black. And when I mix some titanium white into that black, I'm going to get a gray. And the great thing is about uh, these colors, I can create uh, hues that have different types of neutrals, such as this blue gray. I can make yellow grays, blue grays, green grays, red grays, and so on. By using the same three colors I used for glazing to make my various neutrals, I'm ensured of having great color continuity. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe for notice of new videos.